previously on Lake Ridden. What? Where am I? Your guess is as good as mine. And so the journey continues. This video is sponsored by Christoph Frey for Excellent Poly Hard Games. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. What's up, y'all? Boogie Knight here, and welcome back to Lake Ridden. Uh, when we last left off, our main character, Marie, um, she had... We have journeyed up... Well, let me pull up the map. Hang on. Uh, we journeyed up here, the lift, up to this area, which was Miss Nellie's cabin. Um, only discovered we trapped ourselves in, and we had to poison ourselves to basically escape. Confused? Yep, so am I. Uh, there's a lot of things happening in the story that I'm trying to figure out. Um, anyway, so we're here in the laundry, and we are going to apparently be introduced to a new character known as Pearl, an individual who, according to, uh, what's her name? Nora, burnt this building down. Um, I'm having some misgivings about Nora. Um, I just feel like there's a lot that's not being let on. Uh, Theseus left, always. Um... And I'm just kind of curious to see what her role is with everything. Anyway, so we are... Let's take a look now. Oh, hang on. What is this? A hammer. Let's go to huck that. Um, what is this? Looks like... Something. Oh, we got another lantern. Uh, anything in here? Not at all. Um, yeah, I still am really bad on the button puzzles, but once again, I don't think that's inhibiting any stories uh, or any part of the plot. Uh, what is it? it? Looks like we have a furnace. Um, then we light, and then we go. Uh, let's come back to this, because I feel like. Okay, we have coal. I feel like this is probably our next puzzle, so let's just kind of see what the rest of this area has to offer. Uh, anything on the shelves? No. Nora? Or Pearl? I don't think this there's any threat to this game. I really don't. Um, but the jump scares, that's a new thing. Okay. Um, we got a door over here. We'll look at every. Let's just kind of do a once over as we tend to do. It's probably going to be locked, but you never know. Of course it is. Uh, yeah. Um, anything in the boxes? Oh, hang on. There's stuff around the back. Um, the coal pile. We can access some gear, some bricks, some more bottles. Can we like this? Yes, we can. Brilliant. Oh, hang on. Some pipes? I have expected a jump scare, but I have been playing a lot of Unforgiving, as well as some other indie horror games. Uh, let's see... Um, we go down here? Looks like we might be able to. I just want to explore everything before we look at this puzzle. There we go. Marie's pretty talented. She can uh, hold a lantern with one hand and the... Uh, ladders with another one. What else? Oh, joy. Here we go. Uh, let's just see what we can do. I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to handle this one, but... Like I said, I th I'm pretty sure this just has something to do with... Extras. You know what? Forget it. I want to, the, the point of this game, I mean, if I do a revisit, um, I will do a revisit or examine those, all those puzzles. But right now, I want to focus on the plot. Um, can we get on here? Apparently not, because... Hang on, is that another sconce? No, it was just a moat. Because so this is flooded. So it looks like this probably drains the water. It's not working. It's not working for some reason. Okay. So I'm guessing we probably have to pump, use this device, so we probably have to huck coal in here. 
in order to know what I want to do, but okay. Open that back up. Okay, um, got a valve. Okay, so let's just go ahead and just, yep, there we go. Hey! Um, okay, cool. Let's just yeet that in there. I think this is the first, uh, you know I'm tired of, I've actually, if I actually not ironically said the word yeet. It's just, I'm gonna let that one go. I'm running on about an hour of sleep. I think Fran's ready to like just absolutely kill me for not sleeping. Eh, it happens. Grab as much as possible. Okay, just eat that in there too. Good. So we went too far? Um, uh, okay. Let me get a closer look at this gauge. That little gauge is up. What the hell is that? Um, okay, um, so about over here, it goes in the green area and then into the red, so I need to actually watch what I'm doing. Somehow I'm not surprised, to be honest. So, yeah, so we gotta be between 300 and 350, so... Oh, let's go... Dump that sucker in here. Get the ash pile go. Okay, so that's a little shy of 150. Um, let's do another one that'll actually pull it to th probably 300. I might have overdone it, but we'll find out. Okay, um, so maybe size does matter. I know, art imitates light. <laughs> yeah, I know, shut up. It's definitely not my nickname in high school. Uh, lots of little hunks of uh, coal here. Is there anything larger that we can use without breaking the system? Just gonna inch closer. Just keep hucking these small things in here. Okay, I think maybe one more we should be okay. I think we're in the region. Let's just do one more small one. Okay, we're definitely in the green. Uh, seal you up nice and tight without getting burnt. One that's got hands of iron. And maybe... Oh, so this gear now is turning. Awesome. Okay. So... Hey! It only drained halfway. Okay, perfect. Now what do I do? Um, oh, okay, so we got a box. Move this over here. Um, anything in the drain? No. Um, well, clearly we've done this for a reason. Um, hang on. Um, uh, hang on, um, go back up here and see if I missed something completely, because there's a strong chance I have. Uh, oh, hang on, dude. Okay, so there's a side tunnel here that probably goes under the floor, and that's what we need the box for. Okay. Now, okay, we're banging on all cylinders now. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, sorry, y'all, if I don't seem as cheeky as I usually am. Like I said, I'm really, really tired. Um, come on. Up against the wall. I'm not talking about the old store at the mall from decades ago. I don't think anybody even remembers that. I don't even know how long that store was around up against the wall. It was pretty popular when I was in high school, actually. Except for me. Okay, so... We fill this back up. Um, okay. Oh! That's where the water went. Over here. Okay. So this is just kind of a back and forth. Up that. And apparently, I think we're okay. 
I don't think we need to go all the way back up to the top. Okay, let's just see if we can just jump on down. Can we? And we don't have to go in the water. Okay, up. So we can just crawl on in. And I'm having flashbacks to playing Land of Pain, having to swim through a tiny pipe and trying not to drown. This brings back bad memories. Okay, now where are we? Oh, there's the door, and there's a... Hang on, is that... There's a chair blocking it. Okay. We'll worry about that in a second. Um... So there's a hallway. I want to explore this room quickly before I get ahead of myself. Uh, oh, we have a note. Awesome. Let's take a look. April 13th, 1905. The spirit should be around here somewhere. I need to just get it into the trap and close it. Is this Miss Nelly again? After that, I'll see where to put it. I'd rather Pearl not see me. Luckily, she's off somewhere with Jack. Okay. I bet that's Miss Nelly. Uh, drawings? No, lawn. No, is it the laundry we were in? Okay, yeah. So it is N Miss Nelly. She seems to be the quite the ghost hunter. Um, okay, we're still standing. Awesome. Um, anything over here? Got a lantern. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Anything over here we can touch? Lots more linen. More tonics and ointments and things of Miss Nellie's uh, pure happiness when she's not trying to flip and poison us. Just, just go stomp some uh, laundry? Guess not. Um, yeah, let's see now if we can open this. Uh, we can't open that door. There's nothing over here. So I think. You, know, you could just pick up the chair and just huck it out of the way. Be easy. Like that. Hi. Who there? Who that be? Um. Just the wind? Or just Pearl? And why does Pearl want to meet us when she, apparently she once again burnt this place down? Dude. Listen, I need to oh, find my okay. sister. What the? Okay. Um, we don't have a time limit here, so apparently that's probably Pearl or possibly even Nora. Um, let's just kind of go brass tacks. How long have you been here? We could do Nora. Sam, we could say Miss Nelly asked me to help you. Well, let's start with how long. How long have you been here? Why are you doing that? Because she's angry. <laughs> she's angry! <laughs> uh, okay, the big thing. Nora sent me or Miss Nelly asked me to help you. Well, Miss Nelly's note says she hopes that Pearl is not around. So, let's go ahead and see about Nora. Nora sent me. Whoop! Calm down. Chill. Yeah, calm, definitely. Um, uh, Nora told me something happened. Nora told me that something happened. Is there anything I can do? Where are you going? Oh, come on! Oh, hang on, we got more clusters of things. Oh, hang on, let's see if there's anything in here before we go chasing after Pearl. Or quite possibly, you know, once again, I'm beginning to wonder if this is actually Nora. Because it's the, I keep my mind keeps going back to the fact that the symbols turned crimson and then we met Nora, and I played enough horror games in my life to know when you're being double crossed by a demon. Okay, and let me guess, the door is now free for us to leave. Thanks. Pearl, Pearl. Did I just light you? Oh, I did. <clears throat> nope, it was that one. Uh, hang on, is there any other notes that we can read? Then I think 
this area might actually be done. This is one of the shorter areas in the game. Do we go back to the main house then? Okay, let's go outside and see if we can trigger any more di dialogue. Unless... Okay, that's just the fire. Never mind, I thought I heard footsteps for a second. Can we open you? So we'll probably have to come back for you later. So let's just leave that as is, and let's go see if we can figure out... Oh, Pearl, calm down. Should have asked about Sophia. Shoot. Oh well. Oh, don't lock me in, you twit. Pearl! Why did you lock yourself in there? There's another one. Marie, we need to get back up to the house. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you sure this is not another wild goose chase? Are you sure it's not just another wild goose chase? Well, she usually doesn't like to play. But maybe she's come around to it. Okay. Follow Pearl to the house. Why is it that we can only hear um, Nora and not Pearl? Or even Miss Nelly? I mean, something just isn't adding up. And that's just my own personal take. Um, before we go back into the house, let's just kind of... We still have the key, Miss Nelly's keys, we still have the knife. So maybe we'll be able to... I'm sure we'll be able to open some more doors. But what else can we do inside the main house? We'd cover the... I mean, I'm, I bet there's more rooms we still have to go through, so... Let's go over here... Yeah, okay. There's the house. Light some more of these up. Yeah, I'm liking this game still. I really am. Uh, hang on. Um, actually, this might Why go. Why can't I come inside? But Marie wants me to. We're a team, and okay, fine. I'll wait out here for you, Marie. Pearl is in one of her moods. The master study is on the second floor. <clears throat> Let me know what you find. Or maybe you're warded against coming inside, Nora. Uh, she couldn't come inside the first time. We had to wait. Well, no, actually, no. Did she come with us inside? Like, maybe she's not allowed upstairs. Like, maybe there's only certain floors she can come in on. Um... Because when we did crack the attic puzzle, I believe she actually followed us in. I'll have to rewatch the old footage, but... I'm fairly certain, as there's carts to horses, or there's coffee in my bloodstream, <laughs> yeah, um, that she came inside. Um, okay. So we gotta go upstairs to the master study, but... Since we have Miss Nelly's keys, I kind of feel like we should do a look around to see if we can unlock any doors. A dining room? Or a tea room or something? Um, we might be able to get in there with a hammer later on. Um, anything on the shelves? Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, that's one of the tree houses we looked at. Um, yeah, that's nice. So that's nice that we have the ability to go take a look around and see if there's any collectibles. Um, okay. Anything over here? No. Okay. Yep, come on. I wonder if we're gonna find another one of those orb things. Nothing down there in the drawer? Yeah, this game is subtle, but it is effective, and I like that a lot. Plus, there's the exploration detail. Um, the ship puzzle was definitely a pain in my butt. I mean, like I said, it took me at least 15 minutes to figure it out. Okay, so we get... This is another way. Brilliant. To try and figure it out. Um, and I was actually on the cusp of using one of the hints, but... I mean, I'm glad the hints are there. 
Okay. What the hell is that noise? So that takes us back up to the attic. Um. Child, child, child's room, children's room. Good lord, I'm tired. Out the front, and into the back. Um, <clears throat> up here, this has to be it. Is this door open before? We got another note. The kids have moved in, and their mothers. Oh boy, I must say that I am surprised at how quiet the children are. I expected them to run around and scream and make noises. They have not asked about my inventions yet. Perhaps they'll come around to it. Meanwhile, I shall make toys for them. I might still have some springs or fireworks lying around. I can imagine the smile on their faces when I bring them gifts, or when they blow their fingers off because you are an absolute madman. Um, anything around here? Um, objectives. Okay, so yeah, so we gotta go up to the second floor, the master bedroom. So, but I'm glad I looked at this. Um, hang on. See how many things we can pull. The candles kind of just remind me where we've been. Okay. There we go. I guess now that we have Miss Nelly's keys, any doors that we had... So we were over there at one point. Oh yeah, okay, hang on. Um... We didn't really look too much out here. I like how our lantern goes out when we are not inside. Um, nice little bench. Some plants that are still miraculously growing. We must be near the. We must be near the master uh, bedroom. We must be. We must be near. The boogie edges needs to get more sleep. Lloyd, enough. Okay. Oh, hello. No, we, we we came from up here, didn't we? Yeah, 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 we did. Okay. Yeah, we explored all this this whole area already. After um this bloody ship puzzle. Um yeah, okay, so we did pull all this. Let's go and light y'all up. Okay. Yep, so we just need to find the master bedroom. Where the magic happens. By magic, I mean his sociopathic tendencies. Children's room? Yeah, okay. Okay. Is this our next puzzle? Really? And there we are. Right here. Um... I don't think this was the case, but I think this is the door that Pearl blew off its hinge. Yes, we are definitely in new territory. Oop. You want me to go in there? Okay, before we do that... Um, yeah. Uh, the children have settled in and we are beginning to get acquainted. They like my creations, especially the puzzle boxes. Well, I'm glad somebody does, because I sure as hell don't. And the tree houses. I'll give him credit for that. I introduced him to the people on the grounds. For some reason, they seem to take a liking to Jack. I told them he is just he is uh, the most boring person. Oh, come on. Passive-aggressive much? You twit. Um, uh, okay. Nothing... Okay. Do we can ignore that? We well, had enough time just running around the house, literally. Okay. Nope. 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 And what do we have in here? That's kind of nice. They have old, big old fire hazards. Um. Let's just shut this for a second. So I want to see what's over here. Bear with me. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna climb. There we go. Down the shaft we go. Where are we now? It's like a boiler room. So there's something glowing over there. This kind of looks a little bit like 
Miss Nelly's uh, root cellar all over again. We'll go there in a second. Um, actually, wait a minute. Ho, ho, ho. Are we in a distillery? Yes, we are. Let's go. <laughs> so that's where the madman... Uh, oh, okay, so this is the gate that leads out to the yard. So maybe that's why he's so eccentric. I know just enough about making booze to know about the carbon, uh, the CO2 that gets uh, developed during the fermentation process. So that does nothing. That's probably our end game. Good lord. Um, actually, no, hang on. So, that probably lifts that for some reason. We can't do anything with it now. Or can we? Okay. What about now? Can we pull this over here now? Whoop. Hey. Okay. So we twist this now. Okay, so that's... I don't know what we need to do with that, but we kind of know what that contraption does. We... what? Well, there's nothing to shoot, so... Unless... Whoa, okay, hang on. I think we're probably going to aim for this thing. Okay. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, oh, we got another one of these things. Okay. And we can't do anything with it right now. Okay. Maybe later. Uh, I thought it was an ashtray for a second. Got another note, though. April 14th, 1905. Even with two spirits, it is still not enough. Maybe there's a third one somewhere. I'm guessing this is Nelly. Excuse me. Um, I have looked through all the places I can think of, maybe up in the root cellar. I need to investigate that next. I feel strange being inside the house. It was always such a warm place, but now it is so cold and empty. Um, it's not Nelly. State? Nelly's letter about the kids. Okay. Light those up. What are we shooting the bottles at? Curious. Very curious. Nothing we can do over there. Um, what is glowing? Oh! Yep, there it is. There's the next orb. But if it's Sophia's in one of them, what's the next one all about? You get on here? Bear with me. Okay, so we probably have to knock that off. Literally. And then we'll have access to it. Um, uh, got more can- Bloody hell. Yeah, they just go ahead and ignore that now. Okay, so we need to shoot. Aim a little bit higher. Where do we need to touch the spring? Because I feel like the spring just popped off. Okay, uh, a little higher. It doesn't work anymore. That's what I thought. The spring fell off. Go and just leave that there. Um, something fell down. Let's go over here for a second because something did pop off. There's the bottle. Go and just use that to replace things. Um, so we need to find a way to replace that spring. Um, I could have sworn I saw it fly off down here. Well, let's go and put this bottle back in the thing. Well, that was probably intentional because it wasn't working, so we need to figure out how to replace the damn thing. All Argos. Um, okay, so now that we've broken that, let's try something. Maybe we can actually use this and swing it again. Nope. Okay. 
Let's see if we can just do this one more time and then see if we can drop it. Maybe that will help us with something. There we go. Oh. Hmm. I need something to remove it with. Uh Okay. So that's so we need to find a tool. Okay. So that's where that comes from. Is there anything up here by the spigots? Nope, just a lot of shininess. I swear, if I have to open that, that can't be the case. So we need like something like a hammer? Or something. Is there anything we can do with this now? Oh, okay, yep, yeah, so we can't open this. This is doing it completely out of turn. So it's all the outer stuff. Oh my lord, that took a hot second. Just, okay, we can just huck ourselves up here. Ooh, okay. Alright. We got another one of these ones, but uh, we got a book. We have some water before we proceed. <clears throat> March 15th. My work on the cannon is very important. I must spend every waking hour to finish it. Therefore, I have moved my equipment down to the basement. Jack was not pleased to move one of the garden gates here, but it serves him right. What is your beef with Jack, dude? He does not understand the importance of my job. I don't think anybody does. People are depending on me, and no one can disturb me right now. March 18th. I have created something that works. Almost. The projectiles are shooting downwards, but I'm sure that a few adjustments will solve that. April 5th. Uh, per it was perhaps not e as easy to solve as I hoped. However, I will not give up. The postman is depending on me. He has not replied to my letters, but I know that he needs my help. I think you're just kind of putting the word mad and mad scientist. April 21st. It is complete, and it is marvelous. I shall pack it up and wait for the postman to collect it. Miss Nellie shook her head when I showed, showed it to her. I know that she is impressed, and she cannot find the words to express it. Oh, my lord, dude. The old man did seem a bit eccentric. That's putting it mildly. At the same time, so kind and generous. I don't know. This is worrisome. All right, so let's see here we go. Three, four, three, four, eight, three, four, eight, three, three, four, eight, three, two, three, four, three, eight, two. Okay. Seven two seven two four seven two four nine seven two four nine eight one. Oh, hang on, I nerfed that. Seven two four nine. I nerfed that one again. That's it. Going for the old write down. Run all is down. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Seven, two, four, nine, eight, one. I don't know why I didn't write these down to begin with. I'm trying to show off my impressive memory. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, so... Six, one, four, nine, two, seven, six. He's done it. What is this? Um, okay. Is that a screwdriver, I guess? Okay, cool. So now that's what we can use to pull the string. Or this pull the spring. Well, we're pulling some strings in this game anyway. But still haven't used a hint yet. Very happy about that. Yep. Sprungo. Okay, so we don't even have to use the screwdriver for that. Okay, so now we have a spring, and now we can shoot uh, the thing out. There we go. Okay. Hey, he's done it. Have I? Nope, still up there. I aim a little bit lower. Let's grab that. There we go. A little bit lower too. Shooting stuff. Erica. Still up there. Um, yeah, same old. Okay, one more. Then we break that open, and then we see what soul of the lost is now here. You are resilient. Okay. Okay, now we go down here, and let's see what happens. Back to the land of dreams. Achievement unlocked. Bottle shooting skills. Yeah. Um, okay. Yep, so we are gonna go back. Is this Sophia again? Or is this Pearl? Like, the actual Pearl. I know, I know, I'm scapegoating Nora. It's kind of easy at this point. What happened? Whoa! What is that? I lost you. I looked everywhere. You have to be quiet. There's something else here. What? It's whispering to me, but I can't hear what it's saying. Is it that black thing? It's calling for me, trying to drag me in. Get me out of here, Marie. But we have more orbs. Oh, I don't want to steer too far away because I feel like the black thing will try and consume me. Because I'm noticing a little bit of panic music now. Not as bad as, say, like Amnesia with the train breaks. Or even Wizards and Warriors with the, you're gonna die. No one's gonna remember that reference. What is that? I want to stop and look at the black thing. I'm a little bit perturbed. Oh, hang on, what is this? Um. What? Hang on. Oh, so. Wonk, wonk, boop, and wonk? I have no idea what I just did. Something followed me that night through the strange forest. The dark creature was nothing like the blue gentle spirit who again helped me get back. I wondered if I had just seen the face of whatever trapped me and Sis in there. Wait. Marie! Ugh. Are you awake? Have you been sleeping all day again? Nora, listen, I really- Nora, listen. Yes. I really need to find Sophia. It has been two days already. I'm sure we'll find her with Pearl helping us. She said she'll meet us outside under the balcony. Time for another adventure. 
Wait, should we? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, Marie. I'm definitely getting exasperated with this whole thing. I just okay. I okay. So I understand that this Nora person is childlike, or was maybe one of the eccentric uh, dudes' kids. It's the only logical explanation when you think about it. However, big stonking however, something isn't adding up. Um, so we are going to go rendezvous with her and Pearl, and then I think that'll be a good place to stop. So she said rendezvous under the balcony. Is it raining? I don't know if you guys can see that. Yep, it is. Okay, so I saw a little line, so I wasn't sure if that was just the game glitching out or something else. Okay, so let's go under here, see what's up, and then call it a sesh. But why would she be out there? What thing? Marie, we're going to get something. Something important. What thing? What thing? What is so important? I thought you guys were helping me find my sister. That's what I thought. I'm sure the thing we're fetching will be very helpful. Maybe not sure, sure, but you know. It will definitely not make it harder to find her. We need to get down to the lake. There's a path over there by the trees. Um... Hang on, I'm just trying to see if I can trigger the saving point. Well, okay. So I think I've covered the majority of everything. And yeah, so I think this is as good of a place as any to stop. Yeah, um... Puzzles are fun, I am enjoying them, except for the stupid button puzzle. But I think... I think what's kind of confusing me is, you know, I feel like there's just something that is not being let on. Are we doing the wharf path? I guess we're probably doing the wharf path down by the laundry. So, yeah. Um, I just feel like there's something that's not being let on about with Nora and Pearl, and there's the saving point, so now we can stop. With all these spirit things, and then us going back and forth from this material world to the spirit world. So, um, it's interesting. I'm enjoying it, but I kind of want to see what's getting fleshed out. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what y'all's opinion is as well. Let, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I do read every comment, and I try to reply to every comment. Um, as always, a big thank you to Christoph Frey for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project. Once again, he does has some incredibly, awesomely well done and creative low poly horror games. Emphasis more on ambience, character development, story, plot, fear factor, you name it, he's got it. Check him out, I guarantee you won't be let down. So of course, with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel. Links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily defunct Twitch page. And if you're so curious, I do have a Patreon where for as little as $1 a month, you get access to exclusive content, such as the patron-only section on my Discord, and now I have patron-only videos going up every Saturday. So otherwise, I hope y'all have a fantastic night, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace. Hey y'all, while my gratitude knows no bounds for every single bit of love and support y'all have shown for me over the years, there are a few people that I legitimately want to take a few minutes to thank for their unending help and support. Uh, first of all, obviously Christoph Frey, not just for being a sponsor of the Boogie Night Project, but also for letting me use his music from Gabba Transistor for in my streams, as well as him kind of coming up with his own little fragment for my new introduction to um, the Boogie Night Project. And speaking of introductions, the intro, as well as my YouTube banner page, um, were done by the amazing Oren. You might know him as Oren VDK, as well as Oren from Couple Cakes. 
Thank you so much, Oren. I really do appreciate the time you took to put together everything from the banner to the beautifully done introduction that merged perfectly with Kristoff's music from GABA Transistor. So big thank you to them. And also, this would not be possible with the help of my extremely amazing patrons, both current and former, uh, such as Lexi Kitty, Silverleaf, Barry Grave, Harkov, Jure, Larian, and Oren, as well as a few others that have come and gone over the years. Y'all, this would not be possible without your help and your support. Um, I know I have not been able to provide much in the way of um, uh, giving back in Patreon rewards, but I am in the process of revamping my Patreon as well as the rewards that I can do, so be prepared. Um, I know I joke about it, uh, saying that if you're morbidly fascinating, check it out, but if you do want to give um, to the Boogie Night Project, that is the easiest way to do so, and I am legitimately setting aside funds to buy more hardware for my computer, as well as making things look more professional but once again, very big thank y'all to everybody who has supported me from the beginning all the way to the present, um, as well as those individuals that have gone out of their way to help. So once again, guys, thank you so much for all your constant love and support. My gratitude knows no bounds, and I'll catch you on the flip side. All right. Peace.